What's up everybody, this is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you get the information you need in the first few minutes, and if you want more, stick around for a step-by-step run-through. Today, we're going to show you how to kill off a sharing link in SharePoint. Stick around. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra, careful with my hands because I gotta use them forward. All right, you know how we do it here. Let's get the timer rolling. All right, first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to that file that you share by mistake and you're going to hit the triple dot. You're going to go to manage access from there. You're going to take a look here and be like, oh, snap, I shared this. Let's get rid of this. You hit the triple dots and you hit X and ba bam, delete link. You're done. All right, so let's slow it down. Take the step by step through some of the ins and outs here. Before we do that, though, big shout out to everyone watching all the likes and subscribes and if you haven't done it like subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can know as soon as new content is available so let's take a look here we've got our little sharing dialogue right and you know maybe we walk you through you know how do you even end up with a sharing link and uh, and we can talk a little bit about what that does to the permissions as well so we'll take it step by step. So let's say you go in here, you hit the share, you're like, oh, I need to share this file. And you're like, oh, yeah, let me copy the link. And then, bam, I'm going to share it, copy, share, boom. Well, what you just did, not realizing it necessarily, or maybe you did realize it, uh, is you have created a link that will work for anyone in your company. So when you see this language here, that means anyone in your tenant will be able to click on the link and gain access to the file. Now, let's talk about why that even matters well sometimes you may have a document library that is a private document library for a certain group of people and you decide you don't want others to be able to see these files or even see this document library for instance if I didn't have access to the t-shirts doc library when I went to site contents I would not see that library name t-shirts if I didn't have access to the entire library and typically permissions are inherited on down so that means I definitely wouldn't have any access to any files within well that's where the sharing thing comes in when you share what you're doing is you're breaking that permission you're breaking that inheritance for that one particular file and then you are allowing other people access to it and sometimes you may not intend to create a certain type of link maybe you meant to create a link where only a few people can get to it when you create a link like this you copy this someone forwards it in an email anyone who has access to your environment will be able to click that link and get to the file regardless of their prior access to this library or this file so let's say you made a mistake and you need to fix that well first thing you gotta do is you gotta get rid of that sharing link and so we go in and we go to manage access and we can see a lot of things from here we can we can see that there's a sharing link how many links are giving access and the current people who have access etc etc you click the triple dots and then you get rid of that link remove the link and then if someone did get a hold of it they click it they get access denied so there you go in a nutshell that's how you can recover from that situation hope this has been helpful please remember do the best you can with what you got and remember, SharePoint rocks, and so do you. We'll see you next time. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, cause I gotta use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard.